friends and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Today, we're going to be trying out some mobile beauty apps to see if they are any good. So this app allows you to try on different kinds of makeup and tells you the exact brand and colour that you picked. It's kind of like having a virtual makeover with the actual products available on the market. First, you want to take a picture of yourself barefaced with your hair pulled back. I did this earlier on, so I'm just going to pull up the photo now. Okay, so this part is the calibration. It helps the program to find out where your eyes and your eyebrows and your lips are so that it can apply the makeup better. So I'm done calibrating, I'm going to start with the makeup and I'm going to start with my eyes. So for the shadows, I'm going to pick this diagram. Every time you select a colour, the name of the product comes up on top. Watch. Ta-da! Makeup Forever Aqua Cream in yellow. And orange on the inside and uh, pink. I like that! Oh, it's very like happy and looks like a flower. Okay, let's try with different eyeliner. Okay, this is cute. I think this is quite modern. So now to do lips. You know what? Since it's not really on my face, let's just go all the way with a really bright colour. I like this one. <laughs> but this kind of looks like I'm ready to perform in the Chingay Parade. So clearly, I'm just experimenting and it doesn't look quite good. But this is the beauty of this app that you can just try it out and see if you like it. I would give this like a 10 out of 10 because it's free and the application is really quite precise. And it gives you a whole plethora of colours to choose from. So exciting! This app is great if you're thinking of changing up your look and changing your hairstyle. So when you open the app, you will see this. A whole range of hairstyles that you can choose from. So cute! I think if you're really into Japanese hairstyles, this is like the perfect application for you. You can even look like a man if you choose to. So just for fun, I'm going to pick a guy's hairstyle to see what I would look like. I'll take a photo, turn the camera, and align your face. Change! Change me! Show result. Dang dang! <laughs> I love it! Oh my god! So they take your eyes and your nose and your mouth, but they keep the original face of the person that was already there and they kind of like put your eyes and your face and your mouth in so it looks recognisably like you but really not you! So for accuracy, I would give this a 6 because um, you're not going to look like that if you cut this hairstyle. Face shape, as we know, is a huge deciding factor when deciding how to cut your hair. For entertainment value, 10. So much fun! So I've always wanted a walking wardrobe, but I cannot afford one at the moment. So until that day comes, this allows you to have your own digital walk-in wardrobe. It's amazing! So you can basically create any kind of category you want. Here I have like dresses, tops, bottoms, sunglasses. And then you take photos of your items and you put it in. So like this top, I can edit the name, I can put a note, let's say warm. Do not wear on hot days. If the day is very sunny outside, I will not wear this top. So another thing you can do is create your OOTD based on what you have in your wardrobe. So, create new outfit, I will choose this dress and I will combine it with this top. I'll call it blue crochet outfit note is VPL <laughs> because the dress got visible panty line so this is something I will remember so if on a lazy day I'm like ah, I don't want to anyhow go and have to pick my underwear everything that I will not wear this dress so you can also add tags if you want so add tag new tag blue add another VPL you can also favourite the outfit so if you have a list of favourite outfits, because I know you cannot always keep track of everything in your wardrobe, right? Okay, so the user interface is a bit complicated and it takes a while to figure out how to get to the features, but I think with practice, it should be quite easy to use. So my rating is 8 out of 10 because I think it's a very useful application to have. As you know, beauty products can contain many harmful chemicals that we don't even know about. So what this app lets you do is scan the barcode of any product and it gives you a score on how safe or harmful it is. So 0 is the safest and 10 is not safe. First, I'm going to try Vaseline, which I use a lot and I love because it's cheap and effective. Um, so I'm going to scan it and see what score it gets. So it got a score of 1. So this has no health concerns, very good, very safe, no risk of allergies, which is very nice to know. So Vaseline scored 1. Yay, yay for Vaseline! 
So this is Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula and it's um, supposed to be hypoallergenic, it's paraben free, it's pistolate free <laughs> and it's also very good for baby skin. Let us see if it holds up to EWG standards. A 5? Allergy? High? I don't understand, but it says hypoallergenic. This product contains fragrance, which is at 8, so this may have contributed to the high allergy score. So at the end of the day, this is still according only to this app. So if it's something that really concerns you, always have more than one source of information. So for the next item, I picked something that actually has a lot of chemicals in it, so I think might be quite harmful. It is hair dye. Ooh, whoa! It's got a very high allergy score. This is because it's got, whoa, so many chemicals in it. But you know what, this is actually quite um, expected because there are some people who are very allergic to hair dye. I realise the way that they score, as long as the chemical is in it, in no matter what concentration, it will bump up the score. So that is also something that you need to consider. Not, you'll never be able to buy anything or so, you know what I mean? But always good to have information, I like it. So I would give this a 9 out of 10 because it's definitely a very useful resource to have especially if you're like super allergic to stuff. Now this next one is a pretty fun app that helps you to calculate how beautiful you are based on the golden ratio symmetry and also your facial proportions. So I'm gonna start by taking a photo of my face and seeing how I score a bit scary. <laughs> you need to snap a full frontal photo with your eyes wide open and a large smile. Okay, so I got a 7.7. .7. That's a decent number. So now I'm gonna try it on a couple of celebrities just for fun. Don, this one is for you. Taping me! Say cheese! Four. Okay, taping me got a four. So now I'm gonna try Patricia Mock. Say cheese! 8.4! Hello! You totally kicked taping me out of the ballpark, man! Pet, you know you're gorgeous. Okay, so I think that how you angle your phone and where you place your face, everything, it affects your score because you know, you see all these green crosses, they mark your nose, your mouth, your eyes. So I would give this an 8 out of 10 because it's fun, it's a fun app to try out. But then after a while, I, I think the novelty will wear off lah. And also, how do you put a number on beauty? Okay, we've come to the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed the apps that we've shared with you. If you have any beauty apps that you use, please share with us. We want to know. In the meantime, go be beautiful.